we shall rejoice in it. Just a year ago, our party delegates elected three these young men and women standing here to manage the affairs of our party. And after one year as a party, we sat, we thought through that indeed, if there is any place for us to go and show gratitude to our Lord, our God, our Maker, then certainly it has to be in this church. Because we can feel the presence of God in this church. And even from at far, it tells us that we never made a mistake for coming to this church to worship with you today. On behalf of our president, His Excellency Nanado Danko Kufrado, he brings his greetings to you and to continue to assure all of us that as a party, as a government, we understand, we share with you, and we know that we are in trying times. But just as the Lord our God, who saved the Israelites from the Egyptians and promised them that he would take them to the promised land in spite of the challenges and difficulties wandering, wandering for about 40 years in the end the Lord's promise was fulfilled and I decree and declare to you that no matter the challenges that we go through as a country we shall get to the promised land no matter what let us continue to remain resolute that the God that gave us the power, the God that made it possible for the president and the government to introduce free senior high school, the God that made it possible for us as a country to have one district, one factory, planting for food their jobs, irrespective of the COVID that came, irrespective of the business that collapsed, Ghana shall bounce back in the world course shortest possible time. It is possible. It is possible and we shall bounce back. Listening to my dear brother and friend, colleague general secretary, in his sermons, for me, when we come to the house of the Lord, it does not matter whether it belongs to NDC or it belongs to MPP. At the end of the day, when we have a peaceful country, at the end of the day, when there is development in this country, whether you are NDC or you are NPP, you all benefit from it. So let us continue to pray for our president, pray for our country, and I know the Lord, our God, will never turn his back on Ghana. Ghana is a blessed country, and the Lord will continue to bless us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Fortunately for us, with our national chairman, my good self, and Harry Nana Boache, we are very close confidant of the rules minister. Tomorrow is the first working day of the week. We will be at his office. And our message will be very simple. Road Minister, on our one year anniversary, we went to PIWC Atomic and we went to make a promise to them that before the year ends, this small road should be constructed for the church. At least it's something that I can hold him on to. And it's something that we want it to be a covenant between our party and this particular church. And it shall be done. So, on behalf of our party, the national chairman, we present an offertory amount of 10,000 Ghana cities to PIWC. And also, as part of our thanksgiving service to the Lord Almighty, 
uh, God, we add another 10,000 Ghana cities to it, making it 20,000 Ghana cities. Yeah, yeah, Jenna Mumpri. Yeah, yeah, Jenna Mumpri. Thank you very much, and God bless us all.